decisions about letting good guys in and keeping bad guys out. That's where we need to be able to compare and contrast the value proposition of multi-factor authentication to the value proposition of aggregated security monitoring, security event management. Very difficult to do today, but if we can gather the information we need and, uh, and uh, make the decisions, then we can implement. Uh, it's very common in security to suggest security is about process, getting better with our process. I'm here to tell you, uh, your procedure and your policy is never gonna protect you directly against a SQL injection attack, against a buffer overflow attack, against a, a malware worm uh, based attack. You have to scale with the systems. You have to distribute your solution with the systems. You have to in, 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 encompass your solutions, your, your systems in ways that make sense so that you can grow uh, with them. So what I hope you folks will think about and your security professionals those of you in the audience and those of uh, uh, yours that you have uh, uh, back in your enterprise, think about a positive way to describe security. That is harnessing and, and enabling. For many years, I've been doing this for too long, I think, 25 years, we've talked about security as an enabler. Saying no doesn't enable anything, but saying how does. Describing techniques. We see from our maturity model, there's many solutions and opportunities that we leave on the table today. They're more cost effective and they're stronger from a security perspective. And we have that chance now because we're always at the top of the list. Everything is very important now with digital transformation. We're increasing the, uh, the significance of this. And so now's our chance to be positive, uh, instrument your systems, uh, rethink some of the things that we've been doing for a long time.